Okay, so get this. Mm -hmm. Gisela Bündchen. Oh, wow. She is expecting a baby. Really? Yeah. Ah, that's exciting. So uh, we're diving into this article um, all about, like, this next chapter for her. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah, I think you'll find it, it's a little more interesting than just your typical, right. you know, celebrity baby announcement. Yeah, like, what's interesting about this to me right. is the timing of it all. Okay. This is Brynchen's first child since her very public... Oh, right. Split from Tom Brady. Yeah, back in 2022. Exactly. So that was what, like two years ago? Yeah. And uh, she's 44 now. Wow. And she's starting a family with her new boyfriend, okay. Joaquin Valente. Okay. Who's a jujitsu instructor. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty big life change. It really is. It's a couple of years. A lot can happen in two years. Yeah, you think about it. Yeah. And, uh, and the article really emphasizes this idea of like transformation. Okay. They use the word blossoming to describe what she's going through. Wow. So it's not just about the baby, you know? No. It feels like she's stepping into a whole new phase of her life. Right. It, and she's really defining what happiness means for her. Totally. On her own terms now. Yeah, and especially mm -hmm. after such a high profile. Exactly, like super high profile. And all the media attention. Yeah. It's hard to escape that. That comes with that. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what makes this new chapter yeah. so interesting. Absolutely. You know, we we all know her as this like right. supermodel and icon, global icon. Yeah. But this feels so much more personal. It's like we're seeing a different side of her now. Yeah, it's more about her yeah. own individual journey. Exactly. Yeah. And and what's really cool is she's bringing her family along with her on this journey. Oh, that's right. You know, she has her two children with Tom Brady. Yeah. Benjamin and Vivian. And the article mentions that they're actually really excited about the new baby. Wow, wow. Which I think says a lot about the kind of environment yeah. that they've created as co-parents. Right. It seems like they're really putting their kids first. For sure. Yeah. It's a blended family. It is. And it seems like they're navigating it really well. They are making it work. And, you know, it's interesting, too, because she also has experience as a stepmom. Oh, that's right. To... Brady's son Jack. Yeah, from a previous relationship. Right. So she's kind of been a part of this she had blended to. family. Yeah, she's not new to this situation before. Right. Yeah. And it makes you wonder what kind of lessons. Right. Like what has she learned along the way? Has she learned along the way yeah. from that experience? Yeah. That's a that's a great question. Yeah. And I think it highlights you know, just how much families are changing these days. Yeah. There's no one size fits all model anymore. Definitely not. You know, people are finding different ways to create families that work for them. Totally. Totally. Yeah. And speaking of new beginnings, yeah. Brynchen and Valente okay. have decided not to find out the baby's gender. Wow. wow. Beforehand. They're going for the full surprise. They are keeping it a mystery. That's great. What about you? Mm. Would you want to know? Ooh, that's a tough one. Or would you? I think for me, yeah, I'd probably want the surprise. Okay. You know, just to kind of add to the excitement. Right. But I can totally see yeah. why some people would want to know. Of course. And prepare. Sure. You know, get everything ready. Yeah, it's a very... It's such a personal choice. Personal choice. There's no right or wrong answer. Totally. Yeah. So the article touches on her life post-divorce. Okay. And it seems like she's been focusing on like family health and her future. Yeah. And this baby really does feel like a symbol of yes. that positive growth. Yeah. yeah, like a new chapter, a yeah. fresh start. Yeah. And and you know what's interesting too is that she's been making some really cool moves in her career as well. Oh, right. Like she went back to modeling after taking a little break. Okay. And she's also involved in a few different business ventures. Wow. So it seems like she's really taking control of her story. That's awesome. Both personally and professionally. It's pretty inspiring it is. to see someone embrace change like that. Absolutely. You know, and create a life yeah. that's really authentic to who they are. It's like she's figured out what's important to her. Yeah. And she's going for it. Totally. Yeah. And it's a reminder that it's never too late. Right. To redefine yourself yeah. and go after new dreams. I love that. Me too. So as we wrap up this deep dive today, yeah. I'm left with this thought. Okay. What does blossoming look like for you? Hmm. Like what steps can you take to create a life right. that really reflects your values hmm. and your aspirations? Yeah. What does that mean for you? It's something to think about. Yeah. It's a good question. It is. It is. And I think the main takeaway yeah. from her story yeah. is to embrace 
the unexpected. Yeah. Be open to change mm. and never stop growing. Perfectly said. Well, thank you for joining us on this deep dive. Of course. We encourage you to check out the full article if you want to learn more. Yeah, definitely. And until next time. Yeah. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep blossoming. See you next time. Bye. Bye.